Hello everyone, welcome back to Cook and Grizzly. Today I'm going to be showing you Mom's Enchiladas with my twist to it. Hope you enjoy. Let's get started. To begin, we are putting our ground beef in a preheated pot. First up is to add our small diced onions. Next up are the Bernice diced or very small diced peppers. Uh, then we're adding our spices. To start off, we have the same amounts of granulated garlic, granulated onion, and garlic salt. Next up is my secret ingredient is umami seasoning flavored with mushroom, onion, and pepper, and then some pepper. Once everything has been incorporated, give it a good mix, cook it all the way through, and drain. Once you have drained your meat, place in a bowl that you have on hand, place your cheese on top, Set it to the side, because we're going to get into the next part. Next up, we're going to work on the tortilla sauce. To begin, we have a large frying pan that I coated with vegetable oil. You're going to bring this up to heat. Here you see me adding my chili powder. The more you put in, the darker the mix will be, so please keep that in mind. You're going to mix this for about one minute. After the minute has passed, you're going to be adding warm to hot water, and you're going to fill the pan about halfway up. Bring this to just barely a simmer before we get started on the next part. Once your sauce looks like this, you can start. Add one tortilla at a time, submerge it, and move it around. It should only be in there for about 10 to 15 seconds. Once that's up, take it out and repeat. And with this recipe, you should only need about 10 or 12. Here's a fun little clip I caught while I was recording this part of the video. My partner came home from work and this is what she had to say. <laughs> I bet it does. So if you do do this recipe, please be prepared for some powerful aromas. They will fill your room. So let's get to the next part. The next step is to grab your bowl that you put your meat into and give it a mix. The amount of time you let it sit should be long enough to where it shouldn't burn your fingers, but do be cautious. The last step is just to put it all together. First grab one of your tortillas, place it on a flat surface, I'm using one of my cutting boards, grab some filling and place it like I do, about an inch from the bottom and slightly off centered as you see me doing. Fold the bottom up, then take the side that has less room and fold over the meat and encase it, like you see me doing here. And then all you have to do is fold it in on itself and bam, you got the enchilada. Now rinse and repeat. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video because I enjoyed making it. And if you want to see more, come check out my channel and see where I can take you. Because if you don't, chef's watching. <laughs>